and welcome back to my channel. So I'm coming to you again live from the floor. I promise I'll try and find a better setup where it's not just me here with all of this space behind me. Um, if you watched my last video then you'll know that we're staying in like an Airbnb. So it's hard to sort of create a space behind you that's not like your personal sort of like bedroom, living room, whatever. This is like somebody else's house. But um, I thought I would just make, make another video anyway. So what I wanted to do today was talk to you a bit about, um, it sounds like a boring topic to be honest, but talk to you a bit like about my planner um, that I've just got, you know, that you just like schedule stuff in, plan things in. I mean, that sounds really boring, but I've seen quite a lot of videos and blog posts about people, especially with it being sort of not the start of the year because we're like midway in February, but at the start of the year, people were sharing all their like, goals, resolutions, uh, and things like that. So I thought I would start a proper video rather than the introduction one. I would start um, sort of doing that one, if that interests you at all. So this is the planner that I've got here. Oh, it's a bit bright. Um, my sister got me this for my birthday um, at my request because I did ask her if she was looking to get me anything that I really wanted a planner because I just wanted to be a bit more organised and I really like um, sort of writing down to-do lists so I know what I need to do in the day and then I can tick them off at the end and then once they're all sort of crossed off I feel productive because it's so easy to feel that you know, you've got no motivation, you haven't accomplished anything whereas if you've got that physical evidence in front of you that you've ticked off then you're like yes I've actually achieved something today. So I thought I would do that um, and this plan is actually really good because it's got a lot of sections where it asks you to write down sort of your goals like what you want to achieve um affirmations to sort of boost your confidence or like egg you on um so i thought i'd share that with you uh the planner i don't know what make it is like i said my sister got me it i assume it's off amazon um but it's got a g and a g on the front if you can see that um it's this nice sort of champagne pink color kind of like a highlight color um which you don't really care about so I thought I would just show you like what I brought in it and you know my goals for the year. So the first page is just sort of writing in and things like that in, I guess in case you lose it and someone can return it to you. It says your reward but if so, if I lose this then and someone gives me it back I'm not giving them anything for it, no offence. Then the first thing that's on it is this and it says, you probably can't see that but it says my life's big picture. And I've left it blank because that is a bit of a deep question. I thought when I opened it, I was like, whoa, like straight in there, asking sort of the hard questions. Um, and I've left that blank because I don't really know what my life's big picture is, to be honest. Um, all I know is that I am 27 at the moment, which is very scary because I'm three years from 30 and I feel like I haven't got my shit together. So writing that down on a piece of paper was just kind of like, mm, no. Um, but to answer that, I guess if I was gonna tell you guys my life's big picture would kind of be to have my own house in the next two years, um, have kids, you know, I'm not really bothered about marriage too much. Um, yes, it would be nice, but if it never happens, then I'm fine with that. As long as I'm with mine, um, then I'm not bothered if I'm married or not really. The next one here, Paige, has my goals on it. Um, I try to sort of make it colourful with different uh, coloured pens. You know, those pens that's got like five in one. I use that. So it says at the top, my goals, then it's, it's split into three sections. So it says uh, life area, what I want and accomplished by. Um, so the first one is health, fitness and beauty. So in that I've put to lose weight and to tone up because I just want to lose a bit of weight. Not that I feel like, not a lot of weight. Um, I'm not gonna call myself fat or anything because I don't believe I am, but I would like to lose a stone and then just torn up to be honest. But I do go to the gym. Um, I've been going to the gym for a couple of years and it is something that I like to do but I just want to torn up and lose a bit more weight. 
Um, so my goal there to is to lose weight like noticeably by the end of February. Next one and under that section is be more confident in my looks. Um, so that is just sort of confidence about my appearance. Um, not put myself down all the time, not compare myself to other people, which is so, so easy to do, especially with social media. Um, I do this literally every second of every day um, and it's really unhealthy. But that's just, and the goal for that is kind of ongoing because um, I feel like I, was, I will always have that lack of confidence, but I want it to uh, decrease, I guess. The next section is family, friends and romance. So under this section, um, I don't really have any romantic goals in terms of me and mine. We've been together four years, we're very happy. Um, I am, like I said, marriage, engagement, whatever. Um, deep down am I bothered if that happens? I mean, I don't think so, but if he got down on one knee tomorrow, would I say yes? Absolutely. Um, so I mean, it would be nice, but I haven't got any goals for us at the moment. So in that section, I've put to spend more time with family and friends, um, especially my mum and my nana, because I'm very guilty of not purposely ignoring my friends or not uh, catching up with them because I always try to see my friends when I can. Um, but it's just so, it's just so easy to get lost in being an adult and not having the time um, and especially with sort of our situation at the moment where we're living in Scotland and we go home every other weekend those weekends are filled with crammed with sort of seeing everybody and catching up with everybody especially family um, and I try and see my friends but sometimes I might only get to see one friend that that weekend sometimes I might not get to see any because of their schedules so the next section is career, business and study. So in this section, I've got be successful in blogging, YouTube and write a book. And that may seem unrealistic, um, but it is what it is. Would I like to be successful with these things? Yes, I'm not gonna sit here and say, no, you know, like, because, I'd be lying. There's a lot of people that want to, that do YouTube and do blogging that kind of want to be successful in it and make a name for themselves. So of course I would love that to happen. Um, write a book. I am trying to write a book, um, whether it's good or not, whether it, I don't know, but it's something that I've kind of always wanted to do. Like I absolutely love creative writing and that's why I went into journalism, even though it's not really creative, but, um, but yeah, so that's kind of my, what was the section? Career, business and study goals. And though the target for that is the end of the year. Um, the next section is fun, recreation and hobbies. So under this, I've got go ice skating, as you do, and read more. Or in my case, start to read. <laughs> because I used to absolutely love reading when I was a kid. I was such a bookworm. I used to always have my head in a book. Um, and then when I got to like a teenager, apart from reading things like Harry Potter, Twilight, um, Hunger Games, sort of franchise books, I never really picked reading back up. And as an adult now, I would like to get into that more, especially with me wanting to write a book. I feel like, how can I write a book if I actually don't read often? So yeah, I would just kind of like to. So if anyone's got any recommendations of books, um, I would absolutely love you to tell me some, um, especially sort of dark, thriller, horror, psychological type books, um, because they're right up my street. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know below or like get in touch with me on social media because I just don't know where to start with that. So that'd be great. And then the ice skating, I really enjoy ice skating. I think I've only ever been three times in my life, but it's something that I would like to do more of. Um, I just find it fun and I don't really go that often. So the next section is heart and spiritual. Um, so for this, I've put believe in myself more. So again, that's sort of the confidence thing that I was talking about earlier. Sometimes I think that, oh, I'm not good enough. I can't do makeup as well as other people can. I can't 
produce content as well as other people can. I don't have the means to buy things to make content, whether that's buying makeup, um, buying products, because you know it's expensive to go out and buy all that stuff all the time to review it. Um, and sometimes, you know, we're not fortunate enough to be able to go out and just spend like that. Um, so the next one is financial. Um, and for this, I've just got have savings. So I have some savings at the moment, but it's not a lot. And, you know, car insurance is due and tax is due. So that all needs sorting. So probably not going to have anything left by the time those are out. Um, then, you know, I've used it on, like I said in my other video, we went to Thailand last year, we went to Vietnam the year before, so holidays of take savings. So I would like to sort of build my savings back up. And then the final one on this is personal development. So for this, I've got, again, be more confident, which I've spoke about, and then don't let anxiety rule you, um, which is kind of self-explanatory. I suffer from anxiety and sometimes it is very emotional, it can get the best of you. Can make you doubt, doubt yourself it can make it can prevent you from doing things that you want to do or that you know you can do but there's just that voice in your head that tells you no you can't do it it's too scary something bad's gonna happen um and you just worry and uh i don't want that to happen anymore so that's kind of ongoing as well in terms of targets so then the next page on this says um my top five goals for this year on this page and I can only think of four. So the first one is to finish the book and hopefully get it published. Um, and then it says you've got to write actions on how you're going to get that accomplished. So I put work on it at least every other day um, and research publications of, you know, what publication is best suited to the genre of the book and its content. Then under that, um, it says growth following on blog and YouTube, <coughs> which what I said before, I kind of want to be successful with this. So on the actions for that i just put create content and be consistent when able to because like i said you know posting makeup looks and items of clothing and things that you see on social media it's not it's not what's the word realistic it's just not realistic for everybody can i go out and spend 200 pounds on an online shop to take pictures to upload to instagram no definitely not can i go out and buy me like the newest product as soon as it com comes out to review no um some people are fortunate enough to be able to do that some people aren't and that's just the way it is but you know everyone's journey is different and if it's meant to be it'll be so that's that one the one underneath is keep fit again just going back to what i said previously so it says get to the gym well it says get to the gym bitch <laughs> um twice a week like minimum so I'm hopefully trying to do Tuesdays and Thursdays um, because I have to go during the day uh, well I prefer going during the day anyway just because it's less busy um, so twice a day twice a week for the gym at least and then on the days that I'm not going to the gym I put do yoga which is something very new to me and what I've just started so I'm not very good at it but I kind of want to give it a go because I've heard a lot of good things about it and I'm getting older so I need to try new things and number four is, again, be more positive. So believe in yourself. Listen to Martin because he always encourages me and he always says that, you know, you can do it, of course you can, like stop being negative. And majority of the time, you know, he's right, but don't tell him, but he is always right. So listen to Martin more and then be thankful for everything that I've got in my life because I'm such a negative person at times where I can... I can really put myself in a really bad place um, where I'm like, you know, I don't have this, I don't have that, I'm not this, I'm not that, but really I should be thankful and we all forget to do it and it's so easy to latch onto the negative things, but I should be thankful that, um, you know, for the things I have and I'm healthy, so. And then for number five, I couldn't think of anything, so the book comes with some stickers, so I put a little sticker in there. That says a little progress each day adds up to big results which is very cheesy but very true so I thought I'd put that in there so the next page as you can see it's very all over the place it says my mind map so what I decided to do for this was just put um, a five-year plan 
And then right underneath it says age 32 because in five years time, unfortunately, I will be 32, which is very depressing, but we all have to get there someday. So for this, again, I've put a little sticker in there. It says, if you can dream it, you can do it. So I just put some sort of arrows and what I want to accomplish in five years. So I've got finished book plus sequel because there is room for a sequel or maybe a trilogy, but who knows? I've got travel more because traveling is just amazing and the best time of my life was in Vietnam and Thailand. So do more traveling, um, a successful blog on YouTube, um, make time for friends and family, um, which is pretty much everything that I've already said, get our own house and then next, well, I put get own house and the next year I put with Martin preferably because I would like to still be with him in five years time. Um, then, oh, there's another sticker there. It says, dreams don't work unless you do. Then I've got, give Martin what he deserves, which is the world, as cheesy as that may be, because he puts a lot into me. <laughs> I mean, that's some of it. Okay. Um, he, how can I say this without sounding weird? He does a lot for me. Um, I mean, I do a lot for him, but... I would hope that in five years time I can sort of spoil him and you know give him everything that he deserves um which is very soppy but and then there's another sticker under here it says make it happen then it says children no later than 32 so I would like to have my first child by no later than 32 um yeah then here it says a decent amount of money with a little money sticker underneath um because I would like to be financially stable and comfortable and be able to provide um, for myself and for my family and then the last one is keep fit so everything there is just kind of what I've already discussed so that's that one and then on the next page I promise there's not much more of this and there's a lot in this planner I know when I opened it I was like wow this is really asking me to get my shit together so on this page it says my strategy it says um, skills and habits I need to learn to achieve my goals. So there's a little sticker, sticker there that says you can do it. And I've put be productive, um, plan day and what tasks I need to do. And then motivation because that's what you need to get shit done. Then the next one is my bad habits and bad behaviours I want to break. So I put doubt in myself, procrastinating, which I do very often because it's so easy to like if you're working from home, it's so easy to need to do something and then be like, oh, I'll just watch this episode first or I'll just do this first or I'll just go have a bath. Um, so the next one is don't be so touchy. That is very me. I'm very touchy. Um, I mean, I don't really need to explain anymore. I'm just a very touchy person. Um, and the next one, stop eating junk food slash a lot of junk food because... Like I said, I like to eat food. And then the one thing says positive people to spend more time with and negative people to avoid. So I put, I mean, I don't have any negative people in my life. Um, not that my class is negative at all. There is not one person. Um, so these are kind of positive people. So I put, oh, my friends are positive, which they are. Otherwise, they wouldn't be my friends. Uh, my nana, because she's very positive and wonderful um spend more time with family and then martin of course so then on the next page here it says my daily rituals morning routines i've put yoga if no gym because that i would do on the morning um and then underneath i put plan day so i expect to um well i can put like six o'clock anyway but i don't really start work until like nine o'clock so i expect to you know, during that time, plan what I want to do for the day, what I want to accomplish, and then tick that off as we go. And the one next to it says evening routines, and I don't really have any evening routines apart from like skincare routines, but that's only if I like have makeup on. So I've put start reading in bed instead of going on social media. So the section under that under that is I'm grateful for, and then there's another sticker there that says so grateful. I'm grateful for, and I've put my boyfriend, my family my health and my memories because you cherish those I guess um, and then underneath my affirmations so things to oh battery 
underneath aff affirmations or thing positive things uh, like mantras or um, mottos, things like that, that you can say to yourself. So I've put, stop being a lazy bitch. Nothing comes easy and believe in yourself, which we all should do. And again, I've put a little sticker that says, be a warrior, not a warrior. And then that's kind of the uh, life goal section of the planner. Then there's kind of these pages here, which is like a calendar. Um, and you just fill those in with, you know, what you would fill a calendar in, appointments, things like that. So I've just got birthdays, Valentine's Day, when I'm seeing friends. Um, and then it's got like life goals under here. So I've got to go to the gym two or three times a week um, and little things like that. And then that goes on for a while. And then we have sort of the diary part of the planner. Broke, it's just broke down into day after day. So I've just got things when like blog posts are scheduled, um, when YouTube's scheduled, so I don't forget. Um, again, seeing friends, appointments. And then on the right hand side of the page, it says this week's priorities. So this week I've got cancel my AA membership, um, sort out photos on my phone and just things like that. Little things that you need to do by the end of the week. Um, it's got a thing called a habit tracker, which I didn't really know what to write in there because I don't really have any habits apart from eating. Um, so I've ticked, I've wrote down yoga and you tick off the days that you managed to do that. So I did it this morning. And then reading, which hopefully I'll find a book to start reading this week. Um, and then once I've, I don't know, read each day, I'll take it off, I guess. Um, then on this side, this is your to-do list. So this is like my favourite part of the planner. So I've got gym on Tuesday, ticked because I did go yesterday. Um, edit YouTube video, uh, the blog post that I need to do. Um, what else have I got? Uh, looking for work, looking for work and like freelance work sort of thing, things like that. And then down here it was just like blank space, so I've kind of just split it into blog and YouTube, and I've just started writing ideas of posts and videos. Um, and that's kind of it for the planet. And then at the back, here you just get these stickers, which are the ones that I've been sticking throughout, which are pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's it. Let me get that back in. Um, I don't know if you found that boring. <laughs> You probably did because you're probably like, Caroline, I don't really care what your life plan is or what your goals are. Um, but I thought I'll share them with you anyway because we're all friends here, so why not? Um, and I like watching these types of videos, you know, when people just sort of, um, like I said at the start, when people just share their plans for the future and what they want to accomplish. Um, yes, yeah, so that's about it. So leave me your book recommendations in the comments and, you know, if you've got any goals that you want to share that or you want to accomplish by the end of the year leave them down below too because i would love to know um yeah and that's all it so thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will get back into the swing of making videos um so i will see you all very soon bye